Hi everyone and welcome to the first day of PolyDesign Open Days. Thank you so much for being here with us. I'm Sofia D'Alessandro and I have the pleasure to present to you our specializing master in industrial design, engineering and innovation. Let me introduce to you our, uh, the scientific director of the program, Professor Matteo Ingaramo, who will be presenting to you uh, the master contents and structure. Uh, please feel free to type your questions in the dedicated chat box so that we can answer to them during the Q&A session that will be at the end of the presentation. Before leaving the stage to Professor Ingaramo, I would just like to give you a few um, a brief description about PolyDesign new positioning. The claim unlock your design energy means our commitment to recognizing and enhancing unique potential and differences of each student. We aim to nurture personal attitudes and inclinations, offering a supportive environment that empowers students to become professionals, ready to assume leadership roles and tackle the complex challenges of today's society. Now I will leave the stage to Professor Ingaramo. Thank you so much and enjoy. Thank you very much for leaving me to me the floor. Um, as the director of the course, I'm in charge of uh, trying to describe uh, which are the the topics of this master and uh, why the, uh, we are teaching here it in, in Milan. The title is Industrial Design, Engineering and Innovation. It's coming from a, a culture that we call polytechnical. This is a polytechnical school. We have uh, four schools, two of engineering, one of architecture and one in design. The mm, main idea, the foundation idea of this master was to merge as much as possible the culture of engineering and the design delivering contents that are uh, enabling designers uh, to face uh, all the complexity of uh, product development. Um, since uh, in the last years, companies and producers and manufacturers in general went uh, through a strategic development uh, so much that uh, uh, they left a little bit behind the culture of uh, pro pro production and the good production of products and even touching the, the user experience uh, with uh, in a material sense with products that are able to enhance the quality of the value that is delivered. So uh, the context of this master is a very wide one. Uh, we are living in a, in, a, in a world in which everything is changing, changing very fast and uh, enlarging uh, even the field of competencies of designers and enlarging their ambitions uh, that have to be managed and uh, have to be uh, developed with the abilities of a designer uh, that is designing materials objects, that is uh, managing the interaction uh, between the objects and the humans, not only in terms of digitality but also in terms of manuality and uh, handling and uh, daily use made of uh, interactions that are also physical. Um, in all of these, we have a, a physical uh, uh, knowledge that is uh, uh, involving uh, sensors, that is involving digital control of material objects, and uh, that aspects uh, have to be uh, designed and have to be realized in a manufacturing context. So, um, so far, we have the goal to train expert designers that are able to take uh, care of the development of a product um, in all its stages. We are not designing um, objects that ha are delivered to the developer, but we are working into the development process and we are delivering uh, to the production an object that could be even modified or, um, let's say, improved uh, through the contribution of an expert designer that is very near to the pro pro production technologies, to the material science, to the manufacturing uh, uh, planning and to the, to the design of objects that is in detail specified through technologies and the user-centered approach. Um, the structure of the master uh, is based on a multidisciplinary knowledge. We do believe that uh, 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 not only engineering and uh, design uh, culture are needed in order to, 
to be uh, expert designers uh, or expert design professionals uh, in uh, so far. Uh, we do believe that uh, the multidisciplinary contamination to these technical abilities is very, very important. And uh, uh, we, we like the, the, the idea to reintroduce into our master a lot of contributions that are enlarging the perspective but focusing on the issues about development and realization of manufactured objects. Um, in this master we have uh, uh, 14 different modules that are uh, packed in four macro areas of, uh, of, uh, of teaching. Um, the teaching model is uh, mixed between learning by doing aspects, so uh, working on design studio in class since the beginning of the master to the end of the master, our students are engaged in uh, learning by doing activities, so working in class, in team, with uh, tutors and mentors uh, on uh, briefs that are delivered by the faculty or by through the collaboration with, uh, with companies. In parallel, we run ex cathedra lectures, we deliver um, uh, seminars and uh, we, uh, we offer to our students visits uh, to uh, industries, to mani through manufacturing uh, processes, and uh, to museums or uh, cultural locations that are important to focus and to contextualize our students into the Milanese uh, or Italian history of design that is very quite very famous uh, on uh, about uh, uh, product design. Um, the path ends with 60 credits, uh, uh, are 60 credits uh, of the mm, U, uh, university Italian credits that are equivalent to ECTS credits, what is to say European Credit Transfer System. Um, those credits are balanced uh, on the um, bachelor uh, diplomas, so in order to attend, uh, you need a uh, validate uh, for the Italian or European system uh, title uh, bachelor diploma. And uh, uh, the 60 credits are valid as university credit, but with the specific objective to uh, train professionals. So in this sense, this, mas this type of master is uh, quite different uh, uh, from the um, Master of Science those are specialized in master. Master of science are more related to, to the enhancing of the cultural and scientific, uh, scientific aspects of the knowledge. So here we train professional. We try to give methodology to front the daily experience of a professional that will uh, uh, deal uh, in a uh, company um, um, with a company context or a, comp or a complex organization or that will, uh, will, uh, li would like to be a freelance professional. The final examination of this exam is a sum of the actions and the deliveries of this uh, master. Uh, and it will uh, uh, co include a description of the activities that uh, the students will, uh, will experience uh, during the internship. Finally, the final e examination is can be considered as a student journey diary in which all the experiences are listed and critically analyzed by the faculty, uh, exploring and uh, assessing the um, improvement and the uh, upgrading of the knowledge and uh, the abilities of the, the students. In synthesis, the progresses of the students in, uh, to into the path that uh, brings them to the diploma. Um, our marks are given on a 110 scale, like the university, the university mm, diplomas. Uh, this master di uh, is requiring 70% of uh, attending in presence in class. Uh, that has to be reached by the student as the minimum uh, frequency to in class uh, in order to get the diploma, excluding, of course, very, very special cases of health problems and other, and other problems of family or other stuff. Um, 
professional outcomes of this master. I already mentioned that, that the commitment of the faculty of this master is to place the designer as an expert in product design in coherence with the technique and innovation of the contemporary world. Uh, starting from a tradition, that is the Italian tradition, uh, on creativity and design methods. This uh, school is uh, ranked uh, uh, in design field uh, between the first 10 school all around the world because of its, its strong uh, methodological approach that is uh, enabling our students to manage um, a huge amount of information and to um, merge them, elaborate them, condensing them, expressed in a, in a design solution. That work of compression is a work of continuous selection and choice that is a critical and informal one that uh, our students are trained every day to do. In this sense, uh, 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 this master is not about uh, transferring thousands of informations on top of the informations that our students already got uh, at school um, during their three years diploma. But we would like to train them to elaborate uh, selected informations that are further information respect of the one that they, they do have, but uh, uh, electing uh, priorities and uh, uh, selecting objectives of design development that are uh, quite important in order to uh, be clear in the, in the presentation and offer to the team of development that would be your companion during your professional experience. Um, why to choose this master? Just let me spend some words on it. Um, first of all, I was uh, already mentioning uh, that's a school that uh, has uh, an excellent value in design knowledge. Um, that uh, design knowledge has expanded during the last 20 years uh, to the limits of the discipline. Um, um, making the product design more, uh, let's say, uh, acknowledged about the complexity of the value of a product uh, in a so competitive uh, uh, context. Uh, companies are looking for designers that are able to technically solve, but uh, they are looking also for designers that are able to introduce value, new values, uh, that are able to interpret the existing uh, values of the companies, not only uh, at a st strategic level, but also at a technical level. There is a technical potential in, in the European, but in a, I would say at a worldwide scale, in the companies that could be interpreted by designers that are able to work with the technologies and to include uh, this work at the technologies, these elaborated technologies um, into the product uh, in order to offer uh, a better life mm, to users. Uh, easier access to values, easier access to technologies, full, full disfruitment uh, of the offered value, um, talking aesthetics, um, brand uh, values that are delivered and respected uh, uh, by, by the companies as a true value that could be transferred by the performances of the products. In a world of complexity, increasing complexity as the one that I was mentioning uh, in my introduction, that's even more important to deliver a margin of competitiveness to the company that are hiring uh, our students. Design is not uh, a solution for everything, but is a completion of competitiveness if you can disprove that value as uh, 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 an adding, an adding on the uh, um, super reliable disciplines that are already considered the pillars uh, of, uh, of the company uh, organization as marketing, uh, industrial planning, uh, uh, strategy, uh, and so on. All these elements are already contributing uh, with a rate of safety uh, to the strategy <coughs> a lot. <coughs> so design is still considered um, a kind of, uh, uh, um, let's say, very indivi individualistic or artistic approach. That could be, of course, that uh, the, the power of expressivity could add, but uh, our ambition is to um, 
train our students uh, to include uh, uh, very objective aspects that are creating a framework of uh, innovation of products, uh, even using existing technologies and not being inventors uh, every day. Um, using the technology that is existing is for experts, it's not for for uh, ingenious young designers, <laughs> but has to be for experts that are coming from their youth as designer and are, go are entering into the professional world that is very, very competitive. Um, in order to stimulate uh, this approach, uh, we have two streams. One stream is uh, fully involving our students in designing with and for the technologies with uh, and for the limit, uh, inno limit innovations in technologies, in finishing, in assembly, in processing, in material science. But on the other side, we would like our students to be strictly connected to the cultural evolution of the design disciplines. That's the place, because Polytechnic of Milano is one of the most advanced uh, uh, schools uh, in that. Um, here there is a resident culture in multidisciplinary exploration, uh, what we call the multiverso design approach. So uh, finally, Milan is not only Politecnico of Milano, but is the city of Milan that is a city of design, is full of, of story of uh, product design. The Italian design was born uh, with production, uh, manufacturing production, and uh, in furniture, but not only. We are very good in machinery, we are very good in lighting products, and, uh, and of course in furniture, but even in automotive, and uh, all these, uh, let's say, uh, big scale um, um, sectors uh, were creating a specific culture of innovation that is based on elaboration of contents and values even much more than working on uh, invention of, uh, and of processes of on raw materials or just a technical, pure technical approach about production. That's a further change uh, to, to be designers uh, of, a, of an high level. That's the typical design approach based on uh, uh, soft uh, technical development uh, of an high quality. Um, then we have some information about uh, the, the master, uh, how it works. There are formal requirements, admission requirements, and the deadline for the admission. Please uh, pay attention to those elements. Uh, maybe you can explain better than me sure. all, all those aspects. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Ingramo, for this very interesting presentation. So let me just give you a few hints for the selection procedure. So first of all, you can scan the QR code that you can find in this slide in order to access the Specializing Masters webpage. Then you can click on the Apply button, create your own account, and upload all the required documents that you can find in the column there, formal requirements indeed. Once your account is created, you can save it, uh, the application and complete it later if you wish. Please uh, take in mind that applications are processed in a chronological order until all the seats are filled. So if you don't want to risk to miss your chance, uh, don't wait until the last moment to apply. Also, you will have the opportunity to start your selection process with an interview with Professor Ingaramo next, next, week's, next week on Wednesday, 26, from 9.30 a.m. till 11 a.m. Italian time. Also, if you visit the webpage of the master, you will find out more about the promotion policy that we, create, that we created for you in order to show you our commitment to support your study path here at Polydesign and your future. Now, we already have quite a few interesting questions, and let's move on to the Q&A. So first of all, Professor Ingaramo, a participant is asking, is it challenging for people with design background to transition towards engineering and innovation roles? Yes, of course it is. Uh, engineering is uh, one of the disciplines that is uh, contributing more to the manufacturing uh, or realization of products. So um, um, what is very interesting is not only the knowledge, but uh, the approach mm, to this knowledge that engineering have. Engineering is very based on at least the two elements, efficiency and efficacy of processes. Mm -hmm. 
Designers are trained in a different way, generally. So approaching uh, to the product, uh, adding uh, these two keys of interpretation could add uh, uh, efficacy and efficiency to the design process too, and uh, could add the ability of designers to have a, let's say, relationship uh, with the company team that is made of uh, professionals that are coming from engineering uh, culture, but is enabling our students to even to collaborate, uh, to talk the same language, and uh, to, to work in a team uh, much more than, uh, than being, uh, let's say, uh, closed in a room of concepts that are coming just uh, from, the, from the design uh, approach. So it's an opening up to, um, to a mindset uh, that is uh, dominating some way the, um, the manufacturing industries and the product uh, companies. So why not to enlarge uh, the, the field uh, of, uh, of knowledge and to uh, experiment uh, a different uh, mindset that uh, could uh, make your design uh, more competitive uh, or even better to say your design process more competitive respect uh, to other students that are uh, just uh, trained uh, with a focus on design disciplines. That's great. Thank you so much. We have another question. Can this master also be attended by students who are already employed full time? Is there also the possibility to do something alternative to the internship activity? Um, uh, of course, uh, um, professionals uh, that are uh, employed are more than welcome. Uh, the master is not, uh, is not every day of the week, uh, it's just a part of the week, leaving a margin of, uh, of, uh, for f of freedom uh, uh, during the week uh, to, um, to professionals. Um, not that easy to, to be an employed into a company because it's a master that we consider for the dates of the, for the days of the week in which we teach uh, a full time uh, sure. engagement. Um, was the second um, part of the question? Yeah, I was asking whether there was an alternative to <laughs> the internship. N there are alternatives. Uh, um, we we call it. Uh, uh, professionalizing uh, work uh, or there is also a uh, research work that could be done uh, instead of an internship. Um, honestly speaking as the director of the of the master and on behalf of the faculty that's uh, a, um, a master that is um, uh, mainly focused on design activity so applied discipline. Mm -hmm. So in this sense uh, uh, we could have a margin for proposals uh, of uh, prof professionalizing uh, work that could be done with uh, the mentorship of professors, with uh, a co um, an, an external partner that could be a company mm -hmm. that is already engaged uh, in Polytechnic uh, agreement or other stuff uh, related to, to product innovation. Um, research aspects uh, has to be, r uh, let's say, assessed very carefully uh, respect uh, to the final goals of the of the master, but uh, those proposals are always welcome and can be discussed with me or with uh, other members of the faculty during the master uh, process. So nothing is denied, mm -hmm. but uh, there are some elective uh, uh, processes that are for the faculty more corresponding to the general approach. Okay, sounds great. Thank you. I have one last question for you. In your opinion, do you think design management and this program are total have totally different purposes or are they somehow related? Of course, they are not uh, so far away. Uh, design management uh, is making part uh, of the knowledge for product designer. Product designers are, are taking in charge uh, one part of the strategy. So being expert in strategy is important. Managing the production aspect or understanding the management, uh, um, the management of those uh, processes is very, very important. Um, for managers, it's uh, even more important, uh, given the fact uh, that uh, the, um, the company culture in the last 20 years was focused on strategy, yeah. was focused on m uh, strategy management or design management, if you want uh, to, to say that. Uh, so uh, there is a, a gap about uh, product knowledge that in the management culture is needed in order to go on for a uh, um, new generation of products. 
eh, sustainability, digitality, digitality, eh, AI controls, interaction, all this stuff has to be managed by people that has a knowledge or enough knowledge okay, to for uh, or about products. So I, it's not that rare, uh, quite rare, but it happens that uh, we have uh, uh, enrolled uh, people that are coming from a uh, design management culture that wanted to be more aware about the, the product design processes. Even more if you are a product designer to understand uh, what happens in the design strategy or in the management culture about products is very, very important in order to understand which are the touch points between you your work and who is taking decisions. Sounds great. So we really hope that our students will be able to fill that gap. And thank you once again, Professor Ingarama, for being with thank us and for you. presenting our Master in uh, Industrial Design, um, Engineering and Innovation. And thank you all for being with us today. Uh, I will also tell you that you should stay connected if you want to find out more about Polydesign and its services. Thank you again. Thank you.